famous passage from the Gospel of John, chapter 14, verse 6, in the Christian Bible, Jesus says to Thomas that I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Evangelical teachers, based upon this passage, insist that Christianity is the exclusive path to God, that it's impossible to have a relationship with God without going through Jesus. The basic problem with this audacious assertion is that it implodes in the face of the testimony of the Hebrew Scriptures. There is actually not one passage anywhere in the Tanakh, in the Jewish Bible, that says or implies that faith in any Messiah is required in order to come to God. Numerous times in the book of Devarim, in Deuteronomy, God asks the Jewish people to attach ourselves to him. Each person is addressed directly by God, and God says that we are to cleave unto him. The Hebrew word here, devekut, is the exact same word used in Genesis chapter 2, verse 24, to describe the intimate relationship between the man and his wife. God beckons to us to come directly to him and to attach ourselves to him without mentioning any need for any intermediary. In the Bible, the beautiful book, Shir Hashirim, the Song of Songs, we have a parable of the intimate and close relationship between God and the Jewish people and between God and each and every Jew. And the parable is based upon the romantic relationship between a man and his lover. Abraham, in the book of Isaiah, chapter 41, verse 8, is referred to as God's beloved, as God's friend. And that's without Abraham having any need to believe in Jesus. Moses is described in the Bible as the greatest prophet who would ever live. Moses is described as someone who knew God face to face, like a man speaks to his best friend in Exodus chapter 33, verse 11. And Moses was able to have this connection to God without faith in Jesus. Kalev, one of the 12 spies who was sent into the land of Israel at the request of the Jewish people to spy out the land, to scout out the land, Kalev was one of the two spies, the other one being Joshua, who did not give a discouraging report to the people of Israel. And the Torah tells us in Numbers chapter 14, verse 24, that Kaleb was someone who wholeheartedly followed after God. And he did this without Jesus. And then we have David, King David, the sweet singer of Israel, whose entire book of Psalms, 150 chapters, which describes his intimate walk with God where he says that God is close and near to all who call upon him directly without mentioning any intermediary, to all who call upon God in truth. That's chapter 145 in the book of Psalms, verse 18. And so we see King David, whose entire life was one of closeness to God, of intimacy with God, of trusting in God, in feeling every moment of his life that God was there with him, David is able to have that connection with God, that relationship with God, without any belief in Jesus. And so therefore we see that the New Testament's assertion that it is impossible to come to God without Jesus 
is patently false.